You know, in manufacturing, many processes involve milling, drilling, machining, and these processes involve tool paths. And tool paths, of course, commonly as G code, known to the machining community. Well, they have to be created, and they can be created by programs that generate G code, they can be created manually by skilled craftsmen, or you can scan an existing three dimensional sample or product and then create them from there. I'm with Darren Krasny, senior research scientist at Patel. Now, Darren, I understand that you have a solution here which, in a way, cuts out the middleman in a sense and makes it easier to go from a three dimensional object directly to a machine. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, typically, uh, we'll start with like a, a CAD file, computer-aided design. Um, in this case, what we're showing is um, a part that we have just roughly created. Um, we have no CAD file for it at all. We're going to take an off-the-shelf scanner. It's a structured light sensor. Uh, it will turn this part around on a turntable and take a scan of it. And from that scan, we'll be able to interpret the data, recognize features on it, such as surfaces and edges, and we'll be able to create a, a raster coverage pattern that could be used for such things as uh, surface polishing uh, or possibly deburring, etc. So right now I'm going to click this uh, start scan button and we're going to walk through our pipeline. Um, it's going to generate a preview first of the part and you can see our part down here. Here it is, just a rough preview of the part. And in a moment, uh, you can see the preview isn't moving, but the turntable is actually turning and turning the part around. Uh, the structured light sensor is acquiring all of this data. It's going to take uh, multiple frames of it as it turns around. It's going to stitch together those frames and fuse them into one coherent model. Okay, uh, there it is. It just came in. There is our smoothed and uh, coherent uh, scan model. Now what I can do is uh, I can click our button here to select a surface. And what our software does is it actually is processing right now. Um, it will fit um, a geometric primitive to that surface. So instead of dealing with just uh, tessellated uh, data from the scanner, we actually can bring in uh, an actual surface, fit it to it, say yes, that's a cylindrical surface. Now we have a mathematical definition for it. And now that we have that, we can generate a very smooth and perfect raster coverage pattern. Our part's a little rough. We've got some, uh, we've got some, some bumps and things like that. But overall, you can see a nice smooth patch that this thing has created. Uh, so now what we've done is we've taken scan data and we've gone uh, much closer to actual CAD data. And now we can use that to auto-generate that path. If I click our fill button, that locks in our pattern. Uh, we've got little markers that show you where the tool is going to be throughout the pattern. And now if I create next, you'll see our software start to solve this and find all the kinematic solutions for this. Um, collision free, singularity free, and joint limit free. So now we have a preview of it. Um, once it gets done, you can see it will actually um, approach and retreat. Uh, so we've done motion planning to get it from its starting position to the beginning. And once it ends here, it goes back um, collision free, error free to the uh, starting position again. Software that lets you go directly from scan part to machine path. This is Darren Krasny, Senior Research Scientist at Patel.